Hello friends, welcome to DevOps interview question series by Knowledge Powerhouse. Let's go on to our next question in this series. What are the best practices of continuous integration, CI? So we studied a little bit about continuous integration. Let's go into the deep details of the best practices. So there are many best practices of continuous integration and it can vary according to your organization and your organization culture and the kind of software you're trying to support but some of the main ones are like these one is build automation main code repository self-testing build everyday commits to baseline build every commit to baseline fast build process production like environment testing Publish build results and deployment automation. So these are the main best practices. Let's go into each of these in detail. So first is build automation. In CI continuous integration, we create such build environment that even with one command, build can be triggered. Like just by one command, you can trigger the build. So that is the automation level. And this is done all the way up to deployment to production environment. Like you can do that also. If you have uh, different different options in the same command, you can use them to not only integrate, build, test, but also to deploy to production. So this kind of a uh, automation has to be created for build environment. Then we have a main code repository. So this is our main branch and this branch will always contain the code that is production ready so you can always deploy the code to production from this branch and this is the branch that is the most important branch in ci continuous integration and that is the branch where we are integrating our code into then we have self-testing build and here what happens is that any build in ci should be self-tested so like with every build there is a set of tests like unit tests, integration tests, end-to-end -end tests that has to run to ensure that any change we are trying to integrate, they are of high quality. So that is what is the purpose of these tests. But this has to be self-testing build. Like you, once you say that build is complete, it means it has already run all those tests also. Because if the build is green, then only we are integrating this into the main branch then we have everyday commits to baseline so developers will commit all of their changes to baseline every day so this means there is no big pile up of code waiting for integration with the main repository for a long time so it means there is no big integration that has to happen like if we are not merging the code every day we are piling up the code and then if two different teams start piling up the code and when they have to merge it it may create a lot of issues so but if they are merging every day like in continuous integration then it means we have encountering less issues when we merge things and then we have built every commit to baseline so with automated continuous integration every time a commit is made into the baseline a build is triggered so this is another thing like uh, we can use if you are using git you can have git hooks where like whenever the commit happens it triggers the build so that we can confirm that every change can integrate correctly to the baseline then we need fast build process so this is another requirement where if we want to run a build with every commit it means our build should finish much fast in less time so that we can quickly identify any problem if we get early feedback so that way the build process has to be fast it should not be that developer is waiting one hour for the build to finish it means like for that one hour they cannot do much work so if it finishes within 15 minutes to 20 minutes then this is a pretty much faster build then we have production like environment testing in ci we maintain a production like environment and this is also known as pre-production or staging environment and this is very much similar to production environment and in this we perform all the testing when we are merging the code and this testing is automated and this testing looks for any integration issues 
and once the build is done we have to publish build results on a common site so that everyone can see these and take corrective actions so once like build is green it means we can use it anybody can use it if build is not green it's red then immediately some developer or some team member can take into account and they can take corrective action to fix the build then we have deployment automation so in ci since we can go all the way up to deployment like in that script so we have to automate the deployment process also so that in build process if we have to deploy a certain servers so we can integrate that part we can deploy that code to a test environment and run all those tests and once all the tests are done then all the stakeholders can get the results and they can see what is the result of those tests so all this kind of automation is required so let's just recap all these best practices of continuous integration deployment automation publish build results production like environment testing fast build process build every commit to baseline every day commits to baseline self testing build main code repository build automation and these are the main features